This is your turn. This is what you. I, I don't do the introductions. You do the introductions. No, Jen does the introduction. She's not here this week. I need you to do the. Int this is three good minutes. Office created. New mark. Oh my, I don't even know how to do the introduction. What? I need Jen. Okay, fine. Oh. 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 oh thank goodness. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Wow. Wow. I thought you could do it. I thought I could too, but I really just like spaced on the introduction. Yeah, you really did. I really did. It's pretty simple. Hi guys, welcome back to another week of Three Good Minutes. I'm Jen, this is Ryan, it's week 44. We are office created at Newmark. Okay. Okay. I'm not that good at it. All right. Well, this week we are talking about why should you contemplate <laughs> what are you the things we do on this sh little show of ours? Well, they make the things you find in office space that people have on the market for sublease. <laughs> uh, the argument for the hub and smoke, hub and spoke model, not smoke, spoke in major, ma I can't talk anymore, wow. in major cities around the country, LA being one of them, New York possibly being another, Boston, Boston San, Francisco, San Francisco, Chicago. Why should we do it? A lot, uh, we talked about re-entry last week and a lot of people are really frustrated with traffic or maybe not being able to be with their kids as much or take care of things that they still need to take care of depending on what your school district's doing or what the summer plans are depending on summer camp plans for kids or you know a, a myriad of different things whether you have kids or not even if you are just used to being in your neighborhood and getting up and walking downstairs or walking to your living room and being able to work uh, 14 months of not doing that and really changing that pattern that you were so accustomed to is tough. So I think we all want to be back in the office. The majority of all of our clients who have surveyed their employees want to be back. Most of them want a flexible schedule. And so I think the argument herein lies in some of the places that we mentioned. If you did go with a hub and spoke model, you didn't force your employees to drive up to an hour, a couple hours, depending on where they live, to one central office somewhere in a city where there's there's no center, would they be in the office more? So maybe they wouldn't collaborate with the entire company, but maybe they would collaborate more with the people in that office. Maybe they would develop a culture in that office that was really special. And then when you brought the whole company together, everyone could feed off each other, everyone could share ideas, best in class, and each office could really develop as its own. And maybe it would be not dependent on department, maybe people would interact with people they wouldn't normally interact with, all based on geography as opposed to a central office model. Yeah, the cross collaboration that we can see happening with um, all companies, regardless of the industry, has been really fascinating. A lot of employers have, and CEOs and people that we work with have said they've been surprised when they have started the hub and spoke model or at least tested it out who is working with who and kind of the ideas that are coming from that. So uh, we're talking about it even internally here about what makes the most sense. But what we are seeing is there is a little bit of a clash of opinions from employees who are accustomed to working at home or close to home or whatever, and employees and employers who are used to having them back in the office. And so finding that mesh that works for both sides because uh, we truly believe that we aren't going to go right back to where we were. And I'm not sure even in five or 10 years from now, if we go back to the five day grind it out, you know, work till, work till you die or retire. I don't think that life is coming back. I think we will find closer to a European type model that we are working, but in different ways, in different places, at different times. And I think that that's a positive. Yeah, I think it is. I think we're at a point where we don't have to look backwards. We can actually look forwards. We can actually make changes. We can actually do things that are different. And for some, it may not be what they're used to, to do something different. It's much easier to go back to what you knew, back to what you left. But if it's not the right fit for your employees, for your company, for your culture, and you have the chance to make it better, even if it creates a little bit of disruption or even if it requires a little bit of creativity, I think now's the time. And so I think there is a case to be made for the hub and spoke model in many of these major cities to give employees potentially a better way of life and give companies 
potentially employees that are more engaged in the culture of the company, even if it is in kind of smaller offices. Now, with that said, it doesn't work for every company. Uh, there's lots of sales companies that that might not work for that want their salespeople to be together in the same offices or same regions. There's a lot of places where it doesn't make sense, but for those where it does, we think it could. And as Jen says to me all the time, it might just be the right decision for right now, but maybe not forever. So don't forget, you know, building a lease or building a real estate strategy around maybe what could be a temporary solution, maybe it turns into a permanent solution is also the key. So finding that flexibility and putting the solution together to match what you need for now um, doesn't necessarily mean that's what it has to be forever. Oh, he really does listen to me sometimes. I really do. I learned that the hard way personally, but we'll go through that another day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an even week, episode 44, it is your turn. So in light of it's never too late or too early for change or to do things differently. This is not going to get political, but the conviction of Derek Chauvin and what happened in Minneapolis is actually my one good thing. I think it is the potential for some much needed change. And I'm not tying that at all to office space it is much more serious. And what they've done there is much more impactful, but I think it stands to be recognized. And so that is my one good thing for the week. Couldn't agree more. I'm Jen. That's Ryan. We'll see you next week.